Okay, check it out. We got the Extreme Power PO553 75141 pool sand filter 24 inch. I just took it out of the box. First impression, it looks pretty solid. You have, um, this piece here, the vessel or whatever you want to call it. It has the stand. This one, um, it's like hard plastic, so I'd be careful with it. I think it can crack if, um, if you drop it or something, but I don't know. That's just my impression. I guess it has holes in case you want to um, bolt it down to the flooring. It's got this deal. I think this is going to be that main piece that goes right here. You have, I think they call the laterals. I think these go in here. So I think you're going to have to be creative on how we put those on there and then in there this deal i think um holds this tight it's got a seal and then and then it has a valve and then it has this I haven't figured out what that's for um the instructions are a little it's all text and then the few pictures that it has is pretty blurry so i'm gonna tr and i didn't pick up on what that bottom I, maybe that piece goes there but it's not a it's not a real nice fit yeah i guess but you see how i don't know doesn't seem like it feels meant for it. And I don't know. I'll let you guys know though what I figure out. All right, check it out. This is the setup right here. Sand, pump, heater. We have inlet through the filter out now where does a heater <laughs> where does this how does this work I don't know so I'm going to have to dig some up hopefully it's as simple as this one coming in through here inlet outlet so i'm gonna have to cancel that because that's gone uh gas is already turned off uh not turned off but um it's not running here so i can safely take that out i did get a filter i mean a pump so i'll do a video on that and then we'll clean this up maybe pour in another little slab i don't know we'll see all right got the heater off Disconnected this dude. That came off. And then power, make sure you shut off the breaker. It's got like two grounds. I don't know. It don't matter. I'll test them out later. And then uh and then water. So the utilities are water, gas, electrical. And look how pretty that is inside. So All right, so got the filter disconnected. I'm gonna have to just shovel all the sand out and move that. I identified the inlet and the outlet. And I may do some digging to see what all that's about. And I might set the new gear right here. I don't think I feel like making a slab. And I guess I'll correct that over there. All right, this is day two. 
<laughs> yeah, so I started digging up the pipes for the heater, trying to figure those out. And then uh, trying to figure out what was inlet, what was outlet. That gas, found that that gas pipe that had tapped in to, I don't know where, there was an abandoned um, power. There's uh, another water that's just uh, capped. So I don't know, but I figured out that these are the inlets and I actually discovered that um, some of the outlet, some of the jets weren't even connected to the system. And I'm gonna end up moving everything over here. And uh, so I'll just run electrical and then the plumbing down this way and then I'll be out of sight. Well, maybe not out of sight, but at least not. This will clear the things up to, I don't know, different storage, I guess. All right. All right, check it out. End of day two. We uh, ran. We got it closer. This is where we're going to put the pump right here. The filter there. And we got electrical running from there. So we'll see. Day three. Tomorrow. Well, All right, from here. here. Power. Yeah. Power. This one's power. This one goes here. This, is this one is ground. And the red and then one right here. Alright, check it out. A few days later. We went from having the equipment here. I think I showed you some clips on the plumbing. Got the electrical ran. And finally here. So we're finally gonna get down to adding the sand to the filter. I plumbed it all up. I'm gonna disconnect these. And then um, we're gonna add a little bit of water to the capsule deal. I'm going to clean this up, it rained last night. We're going to add this in there. The trick to this is that you, you're you going to put um, this in and then you're going to reach in and add those, I don't know what they're called, deals that go at the end, so I'll show you right now. All right, check it out. So this you got to keep out. And you put this guy in. Take one. Reach in there. I don't know if it it, uh, it just goes in. And that's pretty much it. Reach in there. And go around and do the rest. Kind of hard to see in here, but you just you can practice outside. Okay, so. And then you'll just start like so. All right, they're in. They have the little trick to it, but um, not that difficult. So now we're gonna. There's this cap. Pull this almost filled. I had to partially drain it. There's this cap here that you're gonna put in there. One, it's gonna hold this tube in place. Is it gonna hold that tube in place 
and it's gonna keep from sand going in there because that is your inlet all right I think okay so there's no real science to this so you just fill this with water so when the sand falls it protects those deals that we put and then you just take sand I'm using the quickrete you can use there's all kinds of stuff out there Throw it in there. This one is, uh, it says 200 and 300 um, max pounds. So I'm going to put 250. And uh, that's it. Add some water. I'm going to put it above those uh, those deals. And then I'm going to start throwing in the sand. Alright, so we got the sand in there. If you get these, they have a nice little ramp for the sand to come out of. You take that piece off. And you may want to... Uh, Make sure that your drain plug is facing a way that you can access it. So your placement of your filter is going to be important. Because uh, once you fill it, it's it's heavy. Um, now, to top that off, we're going to have... This is the kit. This is the clamp. It's going to clamp with two screws through those little holes. And then the seal is going to go right in here. All right. Well, that's pretty much it, you know, you can put some um, plumber's lube to protect the seal and you clamp it and you tighten all of these up. Uh, I had a little leak, I still have a little leak on this one I have to tighten up. Um, it's been running for about three, four weeks since um, installation and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'll give you a tour about on that one on another video. So overall, I do like the space. Moved it from right here to over there. The water's been pretty. I mean, it's been cold, but um, the water's pretty crystal. All right, take it easy. If uh, you think I uh, did a good job, hit that subscribe and like. Thank you. All right, let's check out the controls. So right now it's on filter. We have recirculate, so the water will just bypass the filter and it'll flow from inlet to out. Wa uh, waste and rinse so it, the instructions doesn't say but it says that you're supposed to turn off the pump before you move these positions please check yours I haven't been doing that and um, it just moves very smoothly so right now it did to waste so it's gonna um, I mean, uh, to ri rinse, so it's going to rinse off all the um, sand. And you have a little window right here that uh, um, you'll start to see it. Change color here in a bit. as the sand starts to slush around maybe not on the waist let's put it to waist look how the last time I rinsed this Well, I guess the sand is pretty clean. I did rinse it once, but you'll see this cloud up as um, the filter gets dirty. And then um, and you put it back to filter. So right now I just ran it out here. It's just plumbed out to water the trees right there. Alright, that's about it. 
and then close but that one you do want to turn uh, off the pump to put if you're going to put it in close or winter all right come back to filter that's pretty much it all right later